everybody. We're trying to keep the stuff going and rolling on the channel. I know it's been quite a while since I've done anything like this, and I want to do more tips, tricks, how-tos, and guides for you guys as well. So, today we are going to make an EXP farm for your Disney Infinity character, as well as a Blue Spark farm generator as well. Now, this is exactly what you've got to do. I would suggest making an empty toy box, and then once you start in that, just go ahead and select your spark mode, creative mode, whatever you want to call it, uh, inventory. The first thing you want to do is go over to your creativity toys and select a repeater. That's the first thing that we're going to do. We'll set that right there. We're also going to look for a kill switch. Now, I would say space it apart a little bit. That way you've got a little bit of chance to kind of walk around and not kill yourself. Another thing that you want to select in your creativity toys, the cool thing is, is that everything that you need for this is pretty much in your creativity toys, except for your terrain. So we're gonna go ahead and make our enemy generator, uh, we'll say about right here, give us ample space. And we're gonna do eight enemy generators that we're gonna set in a square pattern, leaving the middle space open. Don't put an enemy generator right there at all, or else, you won't really be able to stand in the area. Now, we've pretty much done everything that we need to do with our creativity toys minus one thing. We'll do that here in just a little bit. The first thing that we wanna do now that we've got our basic setup done, we want to press left on our D-pad and select our magic wand. Now, once you do that, go ahead and select on the repeater, press square, we're doing this on PS4, so for you Xbox guys, it would be X for you. We're going to create a new logic connection, and we're going to say repeat. Then all we're going to do is simply select our enemy generator, and when message received, we're going to say random boss enemy. Now that's going to create the most sparks for you when the enemies generate. And we're going to just simply repeat this process all the way around. I know it's a little bit time consuming, but it works really well to upgrade your characters. So we'll just go ahead and speed this process up for you really quickly and you guys will see the finished project of this as soon as it's done. Like I said, just again, simply select your uh, repeater, do a new logic connection for every single one. Just a quick note as well that it will not, if you've already selected a logic connection, it will not turn green. See how we got the green square there? All right, so we're speeding it up and I'll see you once we're done with this process. So now that we have every single enemy generator connected to our repeater, we want to open up our creativity toys menu again, and we're going to want to select a target area or a trigger area. We're going to simply place it so that it's even and completely on every single enemy generator. You can kind of switch your camera view around as you would like to make sure that it's pretty much square smack in the middle. We're going to go ahead and place our trigger area. Another thing that I would suggest doing is finding a teleporter. Let's go ahead and try to find that really, really quickly. I'm sure I already went past it. Where are we at, teleporter? There we go. I would create one right in the middle and one, I will say, right here. Now that should pretty much automatically connect it when you place two. If you do more than that in your toy box, uh, you're going to have to make a logic connection for it for yourself. So we've done all that. We're going to go ahead and connect our trigger area. What we want to do with our trigger area is just simply highlight the trigger area with your magic wand. Press square. We're going to say new logic connection when entered uh, by AI. 
enemy. We're gonna select our kill switch. We're gonna say defeat. And that simply is gonna defeat all the enemies that spawn right here from the enemy, enemy generators because they're connected completely to the kill switch. Now the next thing that you wanna do is select your trigger area again. You're gonna say new logic connection, entered, player, any, and then you're gonna to wanna to select your repeater and say when message received, on. Okay. That's pretty much all that you're gonna to need to do right there. And then another thing I suggest doing is finding something pretty quick that you can build with. We'll go with, uh, let's see here. What's gonna be the easiest piece? We're gonna, we're gonna try to find a quick terrain piece to kind of set around here that we can just set up really quickly. I wanna find something that's a little bit on the bigger side right here. We can make it tall, let's make it tall. We're going to take this. Now there we go. We've pretty much got it all set up. You can even take it one step further if you want and select each one of these and change the setting on them. One of my favorites is the hologram setting, if we can find that really quickly. And there we have it. A nice hologram trigger area. Now as soon as we teleport inside, the trigger area will spawn the enemies and we'll have our nice little enemy generator. And a whole bunch of EXP to level up our character. And it's simply just going to keep on going around. And you'll quickly be able to level up your Disney Infinity character. And that's it guys. Feel free to leave us a like. Leave a comment down below if you're running in, into any questions. Or, any, or having any problems. Just let us know. We'll try to help you along the way. You can shorten this up a little bit. You can stack it up. So that more enemies spawn. But I suggest that you just do it this way. It's just as easy. As you can see, we've just went from a level 5 Hulk to level 9 in a matter of mere seconds with these enemies generating. That's it. Peace out, and I'll see you all in the next video.